Uh, don't expend money unnecessarily. And don't imitate the kuffar. Secondly, do not imitate the men. Allah, he cursed the women who imitate the men, and he cursed the men that imitate the women. And also, the sisters is wearing hijab, but they are plucking the eyebrows and designing the eyebrows. This is haram. The plucker and the one who is plucked, both of them is cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because why is the woman plucking the eyebrows? They are doing this from jahiliya, a culture. Because they are wanting to make their eyebrows more attractive to be looked at. Secondly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he cursed the woman, she wears perfume outside of her home. Why? Because when she's wearing the perfume, when she passes by somebody, the man, he will, he will, he, he will turn his head and look at her and say, hmm, hmm, she smells good and she looks good too. <laughs> so you cause him to do what? Fahsha. You cause him to do fahsha. Because if you didn't pass by smelling like that, he would not thought like that. So guard yourselves. Guard yourselves. What do you think your, what do you think your daughters, how they will dress if you dress loosely? And also, the aura of the woman is also her voice. We know this. Because Aisha radiallahu anha, after the Prophet sallallahu passed away, the companions used to come to her door to take lessons from her, to take a hadith from her, to take ahkam from her. And when they used to come and speak to her, she used to put her finger in her mouth to disguise her voice. Because she was 18 years old when the Prophet ﷺ passed away, and she was a beautiful woman. So even she did not want her voice, her natural voice, to cause fitna for any man behind the door, behind, behind the curtain. So the sisters should not be talking on the phone. Salaamu Alaikum Aki, Kev Halik Aki, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, how's your wife, how's your family? No, my husband is not here. MashaAllah, Assalamu Alaikum. No, no, sister. Allah said, do not be de decorative in your speech, but do your speech, which is what? Straightforward. Assalamu Alaikum. No, no, brother, my husband is not here. No, I don't know. Insha'Allah. Assalamu Alaikum. See? You see the difference? The brother, he will not want to talk more with her. And she's being straightforward, and she's guarding herself, and she's not leaving any room for any fooling around. This is the kind of sister who is guarding herself, guarding her husband, guarding her morals, because she's doing what? She's controlling even her speech.